Hey guys, my name is Attorney Walter Knott and I wanted to give you one of the more important videos that should be really used heavily in the social security disability field for understanding ambulation assistance tools, limitations when it comes to walking, and how creating proof to show that you have a hard time getting from point A to point B is absolutely crucial for winning lots of types of claims. Could be neurological, musculoskeletal, could be respiratory, cardiovascular, etc. Let's get right to it. Please remember to like, subscribe, leave five-star reviews. If you have a chance and this video helped you, please leave a five-star review. The things uh, of how to leave them are in the bio below. Also, eight to 10 every Thursday, I go live. You can always call me during that. I'm live on YouTube. I'm gonna go through these statements and then we're gonna think about them, okay? I need a forearm crutch. My arm gets numb. My leg gets numb. I have shooting pain in my back. I'm shooting pain in my knees. I need two forearm crutches. I sweat heavily. I can't grip things well. I have poor balance. I need a crutch. So let me go through essentially some of the basics there so you kind of understand what it is that we're looking at. What we're looking at here is the beginning of a thought process as to a person who has difficulty while standing, walking from point A to point B. They have to use something to bolster their ability to stand and walk, right? Now, we weren't just talking about ambulatory devices. This time we're focusing on crutches, then we'll switch to something else in the next video. But the point is, you start with crutches, and then you start with why your body reacts poorly to crutches, and then you go into how your body is having a difficult time, you know, even after you've finished walking, right? So let's begin. I need crutches. Why do you need crutches? I have shooting pain in my legs and knees, which make it difficult for me to be able to walk and stand without them. Even when I have them, I have a difficult time because my hands are sweaty, because I can't grip them well, because the hand grips are too large or they're too big under my arms and things like that. Going into a backstory as to why you have a difficult time. And then you go into, and as a result of that, I don't go ahead and visit the store very often. When I go grocery shopping, I pick a small grocery store because then I don't have to walk as far down the aisles. When I park my car, I find a way to park it closer so I don't have to walk as far to it. When the mailman comes, I've talked with the mail person to go ahead and drop off my mail right at the door and not 20 feet away at the post office box. These are examples of great testimony having to deal with, you know, essentially these difficulties with a crutch. Another thing that you can always go into is balance with crutches because the first time people try to walk with crutches, they understand the difficulty with balancing. It's tough. It's like you're all over the damn place. You got toothpicks for arms. It's all, it's just not good. With that said, you get used to it. You get better at it. Then it's not so bad etc etc but being able to explain why you still have difficulty with the balancing aspect of it even down the line when you should have been getting used to it from muscle memory and movement things like that that can be crucial for explaining to a judge why you have difficulty with walking so this is just a really quick intro video about crutches the next video we're going to be doing uh, basically has to do uh, with some of the other options about the type of ground you're going to be going over and some of the difficulties you have with balance. So anyways, guys, I'll catch you a little bit later. You have a wonderful day and we'll go from there. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.